Hello everyone, welcome to another Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to look into multidimensional array and also how we can use loops to iterate through the array and print all the elements of the array. So defining the array and then uh, associating the values to the or uh, allocating the elements to the array and iterating through the array and getting the values at particular index is very common you know um, feature that you will be utilizing most of the time in your automation testing using selenium web driver so i'll be covering all these concepts in this particular tutorial in the previous tutorial we have already looked at the single dimensional array one dimensional array and how you can define it so we have used the new keyword to define the array and then we have initialized so we have uh, you know used uh, this operator uh, assignment operator to assign the values at the particular index of the array and then to access the values so for example i want to access the value at the index 3 i'll simply say my int array and provide the index of that particular value that i want to access and then there was another format that we have utilized to directly assign the values to the array within the curly braces so this is about the single dimensional array now say for example i was here i was accessing the values by directly providing the index of the value so for example i want to access or iterate through this particular array let me remove this one and also i'll remove these lines so now i want to say iterate and print all these values okay and i don't want to specify the index manually i want to use the for loop so how you will do it so i'll simply define a variable int i and because the index of the array starts with zero let me take or uh, you know instantiate the value of i to zero and then we know that we have used the length to get the length of the array right so i'll simply say uh, i'll put the condition here so int i is equal to zero and i less than my int array dot length all right so we'll use this will give me the length so in this case it will give return the value as 5 so while this i is less than 5 which means 4 so from 0 to 4 i'll iterate 0th index is will give me the value as 10 and 4th index will give me the value as 50 so this will iterate 4 time and then i'll increment the value of i with each iteration okay so now i can simply say to get the value of the index of a particular index i can simply say my int array and instead of hard coding the index this time i'll simply pass the i so in the first iteration i is zero so it will come down it will get me the value that is at the index zero and it will print 10 then it will again increment i to 1 and uh, it will check i is still less than you know 5 yes it is and then it will come down and it will get me the value of you know the the value that is at index 1 and similarly it will iterate through to get me the values of this particular array let me run this and see the result so you will see that it has iterated through and printed the values within the array okay now you can use any other loop if you want you can practice this using the while loop and you know do while loop as well so uh, try to figure out how you can achieve the same result using the other loops as well okay now the next thing i want to cover is the multi-dimensional array so let me create a new file and i'll explain you what are multi-dimensional array and how you can use multidimensional array in java so multidimensional array if we go to the documentation we'll find that multidimensional array is array of arrays okay so an array within an array is multidimensional array and you can define any say for example you want to define two dimensional so you have to specify two square brackets and similarly if you want to define three dimensional you have to specify three square brackets to define three dimensional array so we'll 
start with the two dimensional array and I'll show you the internal working how the multi dimensional array are being utilized in Java. So if we go to the Eclipse here, if I want to define a two dimensional array of integers, so I'll simply for single dimensionals, I used single square bracket. Now for multi dimensional, I'll use double square bracket and specify the variable. So I'll say my multi dimensional array and I will use the new keyword and I will define the size of the multi-dimensional array. Say for example, I want to get a array of size, you know, two by three. So this will define the size of the array. Now this multi-dimensional array, I'll explain you what exactly how the array of arrays work. So let me first open the board and let me get you the indexes first okay so i will draw these two here so our first dimension has the size of two and the second dimension that we have specified in this array has the size of three so if we go back to the board and here the first dimension has two indexes right so here this is zero and this is one and the second dimension has three indexes so basically this array the second one that i am drawing three indexes is having three indexes zero one two and similarly the other has zero one two so when we say multi-dimensional array or two-dimensional array in this case, the first dimension is two, second dimension is three. Okay. So the, what first dimension is two means basically there are the, the, this first dimension has two indexes and this index is pointing to this array and this index is pointing to the second array. So there are two indexes. These are pointing to two arrays or the arrays which have three indexes within it. Now, how many values are being stored into the multidimensional array? You simply have to multiply the dimensions. So two by three or two multiplied by three, six. So you'll see the value will be stored here, 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 and then in these three. So if I have to get the value that is stored at zero comma zero, then the value that is stored at this particular location will be pulled similarly 0 comma 1 will pull me the value at this particular location then 1 comma 1 will pull me the value that is placed at this location so this is how internal working of multi-dimensional array is uh, and in this case it is two-dimensional array so that's how we have defined now with the other way that we used to define so for example I want to define or I want to assign the values directly, right? So in this case, we haven't uh, initialized the array yet. So we have defined the array, but we haven't initialized. So if you go to the details here, so to initialize, we have to basically to assign the values. We haven't assigned any of the values yet. Now in the second way, we can simply initialize or we can uh, declare the array and initialize it directly as well so we will simply use the curly brackets and when we say two comma three what it means is that i have two indexes right so similar to our diagram so our the first dimension has two indexes right so this is the first one and this is the second one and within each of these indexes, I have three values, right? So I can simply say first value, second value, third value, and then first value, second value, third value, right? So these two are same. So whatever we have defined here, it is same as what we have defined here. Now in this first case, if I want to initialize, say for example, I want to initialize the value um, just give me a second i'll copy this and i want to 
initialize the value at zeroth index. So I'll simply say uh, zero comma zero. And I want to store the value as two. Let me put the same values that I have defined in the second array so that it is pretty clear when I'm printing from the first array and second array that you can see the consistency uh, in the both arrays, right? So as we know that this array will store six values, so we need to have, this is extra one, so let me remove that. So the value at zero, zero, and then a zero, one, and then zero, two, and then one, comma, zero, one, comma, one, and one comma two all right so the first value there is two and then three and then we have the value is five and six comma eight comma nine right so if you look closely if we read out or if we try to get the index of the values here right so uh, when we say two so this means that this or when we say zero comma one so this is the zeroth index right so when we say zeroth index of the first dimension this is the whole zeroth index okay and when we say zero comma zero which means it came down to this second dimension to so zero comma zero is basically the value will be provided is the value 2 then 0 comma 1 is this value 0 comma 2 is this value similarly 1 comma 0 is this first value right here 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 will provide us 9 now if I want to print these values so let me print say for example in this particular case I'll print directly sys out and I'll simply say print out this particular value for me okay and similarly what i'll do is for this second declaration as well i'll print out the same the value at the same index okay and in both case i should be getting the value as nine right so i want to show you that both are sort of same so you can see the result so the value in my multidimensional array and my multidimensional array one at that particular index one comma two is same. So which satisfies that either you declare your variable like this and then initialize you know each and every value manually or you directly declare your array multidimensional array like this. Now the next thing is so for example I want to iterate through this multidimensional array how we can achieve that so similar to single dimension we have to use you know nested for loops in this as well so we can we first loop will iterate through the first dimension whatever the first dimension is so first dimension is the dimension the value that is 2 so the size is 2 and then inner loop will iterate the second dimension the size of the second dimension so we'll simply say for let me declare a variable integer i is equal to zero and while i is less than the size of the first dimension okay so how we will get the size of the first dimension so we'll simply use the length so we'll say while i is less than my multi-dimension array dot length then increment i so this is simple for loop which we have already understood and within this for loop we have to use another for loop so nested for loop in order to iterate through this second dimension that we have specified right so we have to iterate through this as well now within this i'll use another for loop and declare another integer variable j is equal to zero and then while j is less than my multidimensional array one and in this case now because we are in the first loop now so once we are in the first loop that means we want to we are in this particular array right so now we want to iterate through and get the values from that are within this second dimension 
So we want to say while j is less than my multidimensional array and in this case we have to specify which particular child element or the second dimension we want to iterate. So in this case once we are within the first loop or the first dimension we are already in this particular index. The index is 0 in this case. So we simply now the index that we are iterating in the first dimension is managed through the variable i. So we will simply store the variable i here. Okay. And then simply increment the j. And within this child loop, while uh, there is, okay. So dot length, right? We have to get the length as well. And then simply print the values. And how we'll print the values? We'll simply use the index. And the indexes are i and j. We have used two variables to get the index, right? So to manage the index, so i and j. Now let me explain you so how this program will work. So if you look closely, this is the array, right? Which has two dimensions. So the first dimension has two indexes. So this is the zeroth index and this is first index. Now this first dimension index I have, I'm managing with the variable i and once I have got into the first for loop, then it has checked for the value. So int i, i is still less than my multidimensional array dot length, which will return me the value as 2. So i 0 is less than 2, it will get into the loop. And then within the j, what it will do is it will check that j is less than my multidimensional array i so in this case i will be replaced with zero from the first loop and so when we say my multidimensional array is zero dot length it will return me the length of this internal or the second dimension so in this case it will return me the length of length three and then this inner loop will iterate three times and then once all these elements are being printed it will go back and to the outer loop and again increment to one and iterate through these three elements and print. So let me execute that and show you the results. So here, uh, okay, there, it, there are other statements as well. Let me comment that out and print again so it's more clear. Okay, so you can see that now, let me remove it and okay. So now you can see that two, three, five, six, eight, nine have been printed on my screen. And I have used the nested for loops to iterate through these multidimensional array or two dimensional array in this case to iterate through. And I haven't hard coded any of the values for the indexes to basically get out the values from this array. So that's the basic of the multidimensional array and how you will iterate through multidimensional array using nested for loop to get the values out of the indexes. This is really important concept and we'll be utilizing this nested for loop concept many times in our Selenium automation. So please go through this and try to practice nested for loop um, with other multidimensional array as well. Say for example, you can uh, also have three dimensions in this case. So, so I can have two, three, and then within this, I can have another, you know, uh, third dimension. So first dimension, second dimension, third dimension as well. So just try to define another multidimensional array and practice printing the value by using the nested for loops within these areas. So that's all for the arrays in Java and how you can manage multidimensional and single dimensional arrays in Java. Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.